Hey guys, welcome back to Juju's Oracle. Welcome to my channel if you're new. So we're gonna do a quick collective horoscope reading. I'm gonna roll this again. All right, so we got Scorpio coming out. Scorpio, I was hoping, oh my gosh, I'm so excited that I get, I get to finally talk to you guys and you got 8th house energy, you guys' energy so you guys are coming in strong but ooh, yeah, I was um, I was saying in my pick a card reading let me cleanse the energy I was saying in my pick a card reading I think it was in group 2 that um, I think I was accidentally Whenever I would see you guys' sign, I was doing readings for Virgo. I hope I wasn't in the readings that I posted. But yeah, I don't normally get you guys' energy. I haven't done a collective reading for you guys yet. So I'm so excited to spend some time with you guys. My north node is in Scorpio, so I'm squad. Um, you got the moon energy here, so we could be talking about emotions. Um... The divine feminine cancer energy yeah we got the queen coming out so how are you guys doing scorpio like i said i have my north node in scorpio so i'm all about transformation i'm all about the occult that dark energy that underworld energy death rebirth all right i'm not gonna take these all right, spirit, tap me in with Scorpio. Oh, you got the talisman. You are destined to succeed. Good energy. So, yeah, like I was saying, for you guys, I was feeling like, because, um, yeah, like I was saying, the other day I was thinking, I'm like, I don't do Scorpios. Um, I haven't done a Scorpio reading. Then I was like, you know what? Virgo and Scorpio on this thing, they look a lot alike. And I really wasn't, like, paying attention to confirm that I was doing the right reading. So, I'm going to have to go back and really look at the um virgo readings and make sure i never rolled on scorpio and just didn't do you you guys's reading and sorry if that ever happened but we we back <laughs> i'm tapped in with y'all all right you got the gate a barrier keeps you from your goal all right so what's going on with scorpios but um yeah i was getting ascendant master energy with you guys so i feel like you guys are really all right this wanted to come out the hindrance block fate has blocked this path for you and the sun your perseverance is rewarded so you guys might be dealing with some blockages right now but the overall message is that you are destined to succeed so rejection is protection yeah a sly and subtle approach is needed i feel like you guys are ready for a transformation you're ready for a level up um you're ready for some change and spirit is saying that change is coming but there may be some things maybe with your emotions maybe generationally because cancer also can rule your like mother wounds mothering energy or just generational energy in in general family energy fourth house energy then you have eighth house here so death and rebirth is very significant pluto energy what's going on with my scorpio's spirit spirit please protect me and the scorpio collective as i channel this energy all right you got liberation yeah so there is some liberation that you guys are meant to have what's going on with my scorpio collective live out loud yes yeah, definitely giving what it needs to give wow celestial alignment yeah so div divine timing is definitely at play i feel like divine timing is at play with you know me giving you guys messages as well grief is coming out so i really appreciate you guys for you know worthiness is at the bottom of the deck for your patience and um i know my one uh my, the one uh subscriber i think her name is michaela Michaela Dawson, she commented and said she was a Scorpio. She was waiting for a read. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm sorry because as you guys can see, I don't do the readings um, 
like based off of who I want to do the readings for it comes out I let spirit choose so thank you so much for your patience but yeah I'm definitely getting that you guys have done a lot of work but um also there is a lot of divine timing that is at play all right love is here Your perseverance is being rewarded is here with the grief. So any grief that you guys are going through that you guys may need some guidance with, you are definitely going to be getting blessings tenfold in regards to that. Like I said, I wasn't doing anything, you know, on purpose. You have dreams coming out. So you guys could definitely be getting signs, synchronicities in your dreams. home yeah it's giving star seed energy with the celestial alignment home fate has blocked this path for you it's giving ascendant master energy all right you guys have um very high vibrational spiritual protectors and a, a high vibrational spirit team yeah courage have faith yeah so you guys definitely have to have courage and have faith at this time, which I definitely feel like you guys have been. So let me get the tarot and we will tap in to see what's going on with these blockages and things that you've been dealing with. All right, they want me to pull from the Kipper deck. You got the Magician at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Cups, all right, 1-1. One, one. You guys could be seeing 1-1 one, one or 11-11. Eleven, eleven. It could be a Life Path 1 or a Life Path 11. Okay, what was that you got pathway yeah so you are on a destined path a liberated path um you are very loved all right like i said i get ascendant master energy with my scorpio collective occupation all right so you are meant to live out your dreams you are meant to be a sovereign being um, maybe that is not what is being reflected right now in your 3D reality. You may be doing work with the minute with the uh, magician here in occupation to, you know, emotionally or generationally let go of certain things, ways of being. You got great fortune right here. All right. Concern. Yeah, I feel like you guys are concerned. Um, but I also feel like this is like I'm hearing phone home <laughs> by uh, Lil Wayne. But yeah, I feel like this is a message from your ancestors, from your spirit team to let you know that they are watching you. Yeah, community, unexpected income. You got main female. I'm going to get another card because I'm not sure if that meant to come out. What else for Scorpio? Oh, unexpected income. Wow. Yeah, so have faith. Your perseverance is rewarded. Um, You may be having, you may be experiencing grief, but this unexpected income is coming in for you and a community. Maybe with a marriage. Hmm. You guys are in an, an energy of manifesting, so make sure you're staying in a high vibration. Set your intentions. Yeah, temperance. The um, spirit realms are definitely working with you guys on your manifestations, on your dreams, your goals. Making sure that you are sovereign and that you're able to live out loud with your dreams and your goals. So, Spirit, what is going on with Scorpios? They are destined to succeed. You got the Queen of Cups. There goes you, you guys, your energy. You guys may be in the Emperor Reverse energy right now. Failure to leave, ineffectiveness. So yeah, you guys might be blocked, feeling ineffective. But you're definitely still in your energy. Yeah, the star, you're healing at this time. It's another test, all right, to add to your testimony. So have faith. Transmute this grief. 
What's going on with the barrier for Scorpio? Nine of Swords. Yeah, you guys could be all up in your head. Anxiety, anguish, hopelessness, captivity, victimization, and worry. Yeah, with the concern here. What's going on here with the fate? Yeah, the star. You are being healed, okay? That's like, these are your ancestors. They're literally healing you here while you sleep, all right? In your waking life. Yeah, the strength. You don't know your own strength until it is tested. And that's currently what is happening for you guys. Protection. Rejection is protection, all right? And divine guidance. Is that play? Divine timing. Five of swords. Okay. Yeah, so your perseverance is going to be rewarded. Yeah, because you've been working hard. Um, maybe there has been certain things outside of your control that have been, been blocking you as well. What's the five of swords? So your perseverance is rewarded. The emperor reverse and the eight of swords. So yeah, that's the energy that was at the bottom of the deck in the first place. So yeah, whatever this is, <laughs> you're going to, it's, it's, may, it's giving test energy. All right. Wasteful dissipation of ideas, unrealistic block, inactive. Yeah, you could be inactive right now. You could be getting sat down for healing, for you to get in alignment. Yeah, with the will, of, with the world in reverse. Yeah, for you to think, um, rest, rejuvenate, start talking to your ancestors. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Yeah, here you go. Rest and rejuvenating, take time out and the answer will come. So maybe, you know, that is what is time. I'm hearing it's time. What's the Four of Swords? The Knight of Swords is time. You are strong, energetic, and ready to take on the world. It's time, y'all. So maybe, you know, nine times out of ten, I wasn't doing um, you guys' reading for a particular reason. Maybe you, your energy wasn't coming out for a specific reason. What's the nine of swords? The devil, yeah, wants to come out, but he ain't, he ain't nothing. <sighs> yeah, five of pentacles, you guys were feeling left out in the cold. You felt like, you know, God forgot about you or something like that. Your dreams weren't going to come true. You were never going to transform. You were never going to live out your purpose or things weren't going to get better. Clarify the star. Five of cups or seven, seven of cups. So, yeah, you have a lot of ancestors, a lot of options. Um, clarify the seven of cups for the star. Queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, maybe they wanted you to, yeah, the nine of wands. I'm getting, yeah, definitely getting that this is a test, all right? Everything is literally a test, Scorpio. I'm pretty sure that you guys know that. There could have been a lot of, yeah, situations that you were going through that were being placed in front of you for you to work through with the emotions here, with the with the um, moon energy here, all right? I'm getting someone like a kid watching other kids play at a playground, and you're standing behind the fence here. So, yeah, that rightfully so. It could bring up, you know, immaturity and really, like, I'm getting someone, like, somebody stomping on your your inner child's heart or something like that. You definitely could have been dealing with situations, but these were tests from your ancestors with the celestial alignment. Fate has blocked this path for you. Concern. Because when you get this grief, you need to be, a, you need to be up there with your faith. All right, you need to be in this Five of Swords energy, winning at all cost, knowing that you're going to win at all cost. Clarify the um, Emperor Reverse for the Five of Swords. Ace of Wands in Reverse. Yeah, vexation, cancellation, delays, misunderstanding. Clarify the Eight of Swords for the Five of Swords. The world in reverse, I'm telling you. Cycles being left open or, yeah, dissipation of ideas, things not working out for you, false starts, things like that. So, clarify the Ace of Wands in reverse for the Emperor reverse and the Five of Swords. Ace of Cups, I'm telling you. So that you could transform it. New feelings, new friendship, beauty, opulence, pleasure, self-love. Yes, have faith. 
continue to persevere. Clarify the world in reverse for the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, there, there had to be things that you could have had to walk away from. Dissatisfaction, separation, making decisions and taking action with confidence, maybe not with materials or not with the validation that you need or even deserve, right? It's not even always about what you need. But, you know, that that's, that's really your ego talking because, and that's really that wounded inner child that can have you thinking. And I'm working through that myself as well. Um, like I said, I'm a Scorpio North node, but we as humans, we do have needs. We, you have needs from the moment that you're a little baby until even now, right? And that's, and that's part of trauma. Um, really like uh, feeling some type of way, feeling shame or guilt behind having needs or having expectations, right? With that five of pentacles, nine of swords. All right, especially with the live out loud, a barrier keeps you from your goal, your dreams, your occupation, your career, whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you see for yourself. What's the five of pentacles? Yeah, the hierophant, understanding your beliefs, your values, and your boundaries, your traditions, what you see for yourself. So what is the knight of swords here? What's going on? Seven of Wands and Seven of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and the Devil. So yeah, I feel like you're being freed from these shackles. You're being ready, set, go time. It's go time. What's the Seven of Cups here? The King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, maybe you felt like your spirit team was being cruel, stubborn, ruthless. All right. Upon this path. Yeah, and there goes that energy of like trying to be balanced in your emotions and like logic, but in a naive way and, and seeing how it was wasteful and then being like um, defensive because of that. What is this nine of wands for fate has walked this path? The four of wands. Yeah. It was all about hard work. It was really about. Is wounded. I'm getting wounded healer energy. Chiron energy. You guys could have Chiron and Scorpio as well. But. You had to. They had to really um help you to. Exercise certain muscles. Right. Spiritual muscles. Material muscles emotional muscles with this eighth house energy in the in the yeah page of wands with the eighth house eighth house energy in the moon a lot of death and rebirth regeneration transformation shadow work what's the devil energy for scorpio strength yeah you don't know your own strength until it's tested it's a test the moon, yeah, to see how hard you would work, to see how you could, to see if you would get this justice for yourself and change fate. But it's already faded. But you have to persevere. They have to know that you're, that you have faith and that you really want this and that you're willing to walk away from things that no longer work. What is, what is it? with you when it comes to the five of swords is it high vibrational is it in regards to your dreams your goals your aspirations or is it in regards to devilish activity what's the nine of pentacles for scorpio yeah the eight of pentacles with the de with the justice at the bottom of the deck are you willing to do the right thing clarify the strength for the devil two of swords Listen to your inner voice when making choices. Yeah. Strength through through suffering, peace res restored, uh, stalemate. All right. So you guys have proven that you're ready. All right. Maybe the six six portal was significant. Okay, you got good news. Yeah, it's good news indeed. 
you guys could be seeing 888 natural disaster yeah you survived wow okay compromise came out and promise yeah you can't make this up this is a promise this is a confirmation this is your assurance you can have faith about this grief that you experienced because your perseverance is being rewarded compromise you already had an agreement you have a divine agreement you have a divine purpose you have a divine uh contract what's the good news for scorpio sweetheart pure unconditional love beloved were you going to didn't i say that were you going to whose side are you on are you going to do the work are you going to listen to your shadow yes harmony yeah, because the, the devil definitely was trying to tempt you here. The enemy definitely wanted to tempt you here. Yeah, they, they wanted to protest that you, would, that you wouldn't persevere. Yeah, that they could stop you. Scorpio said, nah, baby. I made it. What's the natural disaster for Scorpio? Okay. Yeah, you got lost, bereavement. Yeah, you probably could have went through a lot of things. You could have been like Job. Friendship and accident. Yeah, you lost a lot of things. Maybe these were friendships, different partnerships that you were in. Yeah, that were meant to blind you, keep you captive. Meant to blind you to your divine purpose. You could be um, like me and have like Saturn in your seventh house or Saturn in Libra. Yeah, confinement. Well, I'm not going to pull that because that's not for that card. Clarify compromise. What's the compromise for Scorpio? Daydream. Yeah. Optimism, illusion, deterior. You already had a divine contract. Uh-huh. What's this daydream? What's the daydream? Indulgence. Yeah. Friendliness, interaction, joy. So you very well could have understood and, and felt like, oh, I, I, I miss home, things like that. Starseed energy. I hate earth. <laughs> I don't relate. Yeah, I hate earth. I don't relate. What the fuck am I doing here? All right. You knew that you had a celestial contract. Mask. Yeah. What's the promise here for Scorpio? Failure, cast away, and poor. Give me another one. And gain. I can't make this up. This was not for no reason. Yeah, they're gonna make sure that you're that you're comfortable. Whoa. Yeah, profession and, and adventure. You you signed a contract before you came down here. What's the homeless or the promise? Saving. Yeah. They were actually building things up. They were actually saving things. They were collecting things. It was your good dharma, your good karma. What's the game? Eternal love, eternity, consistency, soulmate. Now it's time to win. What's the sweetheart for the good news? Imagination in reverse and adventure. Yeah, this wasn't a fantasy. This was for real. What's the imagination in reverse? Satisfaction, comfortable, lazy day. Hmm. You're not afraid of the shadow. What's the adventure for sweetheart? Justice, yeah, you're not afraid of the shadow. You you got justice for yourself. Clarify this justice on the adventure. Mask. Deception, print, pretending, inconstancy. What is the justice for an idea? 
So maybe this is your awakening. You're awakening to the fact that you, yeah. What's the mask for justice and adventure? Memory. Yep, this is you waking up to the fact that you are a starseed. Mega project. Yeah. This was an investment for the extravagance, for hope. Yeah. What is this memory with the mask and the justice? I need some more care. Yeah. The support that you have upon your journey. Yeah, to stop this stress. Stop it. You're here for a divine lineage. You're here for a divine contract, the divine reason. The age of Aquarius. What a time to be alive. What's this compromise? Try on once to come out. What's this compromise? Evidence in reverse. Live and learn. Yeah. You can't see it, but you know it. You feel it. You see it. You are the proof. <laughs> The proof is in you. You are you are your ancestors' wildest dreams. Period. Yeah, fate. You can't make it up. Not giving up on fate. Not giving up on faith. There's no such thing as a coincidence. If you know, you know. What's this friend for the natural disaster? Reservation, I'm telling you. Now I'm hearing that song, You Got a Friend in Me. It's an accident. Yeah, endorsement and origin. What's the origin? Nightmare and real estate. So, yeah, maybe at one point you were afraid of this fact about yourself of... Or maybe this could be your actual home or just being on earth, right? This dense planet, but you survived because things were already meant. They were written for it to get better for you, to be easy for you after a certain point, right? Yeah. After a certain point, if you keep perse persevering, yeah, you'll be okay. In this third wheel, the devil gonna have to back up. Cause why? Your ego isn't you 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 strategize how to get your ego intact. So good, 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 good. Good energy. Let's see. I haven't pulled for you guys, so I'm gonna pull from the Razor Vibration deck. And then I'm gonna get a soul truth. I'm gonna get a Archangel Michael card. And a soul truth card for you guys. Whoa. Because I just... I haven't talked to you guys, so... Let me give you a little treat. Take the weight of the world off your shoulders. And I feel like that is coming for you guys already. I am grateful for the earth. And I was here. I was called here on a mission. Yeah. Period. It's go time, y'all. What's at the bottom of the deck? Raise your vibration is a mantra that calls me to light up. It's go time. So let's see. Let's get a soul truth card. I'm going to just get one of these in an archangel card. Man, I'm so happy that the dice actually rolled on you guys i think it came off for taurus first but that's your sister sign so that's funny let's see all right tell me about scorpio what message do you have for scorpio so that wants to come out am i ready to let go of this buried shame the feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is when you live in shame you live in darkness what part of you is ready to stand in the light is there any shame from a past experience that is ready to be healed Heal the shame by giving it a name. Bring it to the light and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth. My soul's truth is, just go time, Scorpio. What if it isn't true? 
the thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you're not enough, or it's not for you. What if it isn't true? It's time for a soul chat. Close your eyes, put your hands on your heart, and ask the wise one within you, what if it isn't true? What else might be possible? Journal your answers. What lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth? And I'm definitely getting that it's, it's either time to do that or you already been going through different blockages to help you to do that. So it's go time. It's, re it's really go time for you guys. So whichever um, side of the coin you stand on, you know, it's really up to you to, you know, do these different um, things, maybe write in your journal. All right. Let go of any shame that you might be feeling because. It's time for you to reap the benefits. It's time for you to reap the rewards. Get closer to your ancestors. Get closer to your spirit team. And let go of any grief, shame, because your perseverance is ready to be rewarded. All right? So I... Oh, yeah. Let me get an um, Archangel Michael card for you guys. I almost forgot. more deck Scorpio tell me about Scorpio your home is protected by angels Archangel Michael thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door ensuring its security thank you for guiding my finances so that i can easily afford to pay my rent mortgage or taxes all right so that is what you guys need to know and also your children are watched over by angels so you guys might have definitely been worrying about these different things just be sure to know that your perseverance is being rewarded let go of any grief it's time for you guys to have faith because all of these paths will be in block because you are on a divine, divine, divine mission. All right. So they're working very closely with you guys. Things have to be manifested and taken away and healed and, and winnowed at the right time, at the right place, at the right time. So you can let go of any grief, any shame, any guilt, because, you know, even even things you don't even know about, blessings, blessings you don't even know about are getting ready to come through for you. All right. All right, Scorpio, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next video.